Hello friend, this is Dr. Francis Miles. I'm currently in the beautiful nation of Zimbabwe, uh, attending the conference and, uh, of a dear uh, friend of mine and apostolic mentor, uh, Bishop Tudor Bismarck. Uh, we're having a very powerful time of the God encounter uh, with an amazing array of speakers like Dr. Mensa Otterbeer, great uh, uh, singers like Micah Stampley, William McDowell. It's an amazing time in a stadium here in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe just finished its uh, election season and we thank God that the nation is at rest and we are praying for it. You know, I'm staying at a beautiful lodge called the Amanzi Lodge in Zimbabwe. The word Amanzi is uh, Shona, uh, which is one of the languages of Zimbabwe, for water. And literally, I tell you, the place is like a living inside of a rainforest. It's beautiful. If you're ever in the nation of Zimbabwe um, or want to come for a honeymoon or just a, a vacation, you want to come to the Amanzi Lodge. You know, I'm, I'm excited about this week's blog, uh, you know, on Kingdom Thinking today. I've been thinking about the word stress. It's a huge construct in the world we live in, stress. Have you heard it before? That's a five-letter word that puts fear in the hearts of people because it's what we it's becoming a norm that even Christians are stressed out. You know, I, I don't get it. Jesus uh, uh, promised a life of rest, a different type of lifestyle, and yet you can know from many, observing many of God's people, they are just as stressed out as the next guy on the job or in this world. Let me tell you something, my friend. Stress is not your portion. That's why this week I'm talking about dropping it because you can drop it. As easily as you took it, you can drop the stress. There's a more excellent way of living your life than living a life that's driven by stress. Jesus tells us that you and I are more as humans, not even as child of God, which means as we become born again, we even, our value goes up to another level. But just as humans, Jesus said, we are more valuable than the birds of the air, my friend. So if you are more valuable than the birds of the air and your heavenly father feeds all of them, why are you being treated for stress? Stress about what? Usually it's about worrying about tomorrow because you don't think God has made enough provision for your tomorrow. And yet the songwriter says, you know, I know he lives and that he holds my future. Most importantly, the word of God tells us that, you know, that God has got beautiful plans for you and I, plans to give us a hope and a future. So what are you stressed about? Have you noticed that there's no birds that are being treated for stress? My God, why are you being treated for stress? So I believe that in this week's blog, as you read what I've wrote, written, I'm telling you it's going to change your life. You're going to find yourself dropping the stress. Check this out. I want to challenge you to get this video to as many people as possible because I'm telling you stress is a big deal all around the world. In America, for instance, where I live, uh, it has become a multi-billion dollar industry. I mean, the pharmaceutical industries, they are making a killing on people being treated for stress. The problem with the drugs they are coming up, they have all, all kind of side effects. So what is trying to cure the stress actually creates more stress. Friends, the Bible has a better way of living a stress-free life. And I talk to you about, I'll talk to you about it in the article I've written for with this week's blog. Now, I double dare you to share this on, on Facebook. WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and any, any, any other social media because let's get, the, let's get this revelation to as many people as possible so we can change lives together. Now, if you have not subscribed for my blog, what are you waiting for? Just click, right, click the link below this video and just sign up for my blog every Thursday. It's absolutely free, but the revelation that you get every week will change your life because it is priceless revelation. Again, thank you again for listening uh, to me one more time, allowing me to talk to you for a few minutes. But I believe that your life will never be the same again. This is Dr. Francis Miles saying shalom, shalom. And again, sign up for my blog on francismiles.com and just click on blog. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.